Hi, I'm James Glisson. I'm curator of contemporary art at the Santa Barbara Museum of Art. And I'm bringing you another installment of my thoughts on the permanent collection here at Santa Barbara. Today, I want to talk about Edward Hopper's November Washington Square, which he begun in 1932, and, but only completed in 1959 in the last decade of his life. It's a gift from Miss Sterling Morton to the Preston Morton Collection here at Santa Barbara. The view from the painting is from the window of Hopper's studio at number three, Washington Square North. He had a studio, he lived a live and workspace, as we might say today, on the north side of Washington Square Park in a brownstone that's still there and you can still visit. And this is a view from the window across Washington Square Park to the Judson Memorial Church, which still stands there with its distinctive neo-Renaissance architecture and neo-Renaissance campanile. Now, in many ways, this is a typical Hopper image. It's a picture of a city devoid of people, somber, melancholy, quiet. But I think even by Hopper's standards, this is a darker image. First, there's the tree in the foreground that is dormant because it's winter, except it looks more than dormant. It looks dead. It's hard to imagine those branches sustaining life, sustaining green leaves when the thaw comes and the park warms up again. Then there's the empty fountain. That's the circular structure in the lower right corner. It's empty. And then there's the streets and the pavements and the sidewalks within the park itself that have a kind of scraped or rubbed or braided quality um, as if they've been sprinkled with dust or there's just a kind of layer of gray that's been placed on top of them. The buildings on either side of the church are unusually dark and hard to see, unfinished and rough in their execution. And then in the background, there's the row of tall buildings in New York's Greenwich Village that are imposing and hard to see. There's a stripe of blue surrounded by two stripes of gray in the sky. And there is a nice syncopation there of gray, blue, gray. The somberness and emptiness of this space, I think, brought to my mind at least, and probably yours too, the empty streets we're seeing in pictures of Manhattan and London and Paris in cities across the United States and towns across the United States, big and small. And the reasons for those empty streets are somber and melancholy, and difficult, but they're very different than what they were for Hopper. When Hopper emptied his city, he, he does so, I think, to get at something about the melancholy and isolation of modern city life. The sense that in modern life, the life we're living now, but Hopper lived too in the 20th century, that the old coordinates of religion or political affiliation or moral codes of the past no longer obtained. People had to figure out things for themselves, sometimes successfully, sometimes not so. And that's often particularly apparent when Hopper does include figures, often women, young women, who seem alone, enclosed in their own thoughts, isolated. So even when people do get put in paintings by Hopper, it doesn't um, lighten the mood by any means. Instead, the rooms feel empty and vacant despite someone being there. And in that way, with November Not Washington Square, I sometimes think about the way, or I sometimes like to think about the way the Judson Memorial Church might actually be a figure, a person standing there. And I'm kind of stretching things a bit. It's poetic and metaphoric, but 
there is something of a kind of presence or liveliness in that church that's not present with anything else. And in fact, the more you look at the church, the more the rest of the scene, the buildings on the side, the gray park in the foreground, the um, sky in the background, all of that fall away. You just keep focusing on that structure. Hopper's meditation on empty streets is... I think, an appropriate one for what we're thinking about and dealing with right now. Thanks.